Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Programmer for Life, Programming for Everyone and Everything. So in this video we are going to write a basic program from scratch of MPI and we are going to run this program uh, and also we are going to see what are the how to use the basic concepts of MPI that we learned in the last video. So let's get started. So let's open our terminal and create a new file on our desktop that is MPI tutorial.java and write the sample code in this file. Okay, so now let's uh, begin by importing our library MPI and this file contains all the routines of MPI. Now let's create our class MPI tutorial and main function corresponding to it by using public class MPI tutorial and inside this class let's write the main function public static void main string args okay so that's done next step is to initialize and finalize our MPI environment okay so I need to initialize and finalize the MPI environment so MPI in it is used it uses the arguments given at the console such as number of processes to initialize MPI it creates a communicator which encloses all our processes and also assigns rank to different processes and finalize is used to clean the MPI environment so that no MPI calls can be made after this okay so next step is to write the rank and size of the processes so I will use the size variable to store the size of the processes and the size will store size will actually use a function called size which is coming from com world for I will use the same thing for the rank also now let's print size and rank so the size of MPI communicator here I will print the size of MPI communicator okay so I will make the change here I will write here communicator communicator okay so let's use the same uh, code to print the rank of each process So I will write here rank. So this process has rank. Uh, rank. Okay. So now one more thing we need to use. Uh, we need to print the size of communicator only once, because the size uh, is a, is the same thing that uh, it it is sufficient to print it once. So if rank is equal to root, then print the size. Okay. So the basic code is done. So this is the basic code of MPI and the pattern of execution is multiple processes are created and they execute the same code. Okay, so now we need to follow some steps for executing the code. So first let's extract the jar package we downloaded in the last video. We can see inside there are multiple files. Okay. Now among these files we need to go inside the bin folder. And uh, inside the bin folder we need to open it inside from the terminal okay so let's use ls and we can see a list of files we are interested in mpj run.sh green color here means it has executing permissions if yours doesn't show green you can give permissions by executing chmod777 mpj run.sh now you can check again by ls let's run this command first you can check again by ls whether it has permissions or not so if it is green then uh, there is no problem once you have given the necessary permissions let's go to our folder our folder is on desktop and uh, inside this we are going to open it again in terminal okay so here we need to export our mpj home variable okay so we need to copy it from the desktop so i'll right click on it and click on copy and after that we need to check once by running echo okay so it is showing the correct path now let's compile our file by using java c command here we will specify the class path by using minus cp option which specifies a related class path file here it is mpj.jar okay so my class name is mpi tutorial or java so we can see class file is created so our compilation is successful 
now let's run the program by typing java mpi tutorial okay so here here we get an error because this command is used only for single process execution it does not use any mpi features so we need to execute mpi mpj run dot sh for that so mpj run dot sh is located in mpj home bin folder mpj run dot sh so minus np option here specifies the number of processes so here we will use four processes so we can see rank of four processes are printed in the output and they are not any particular order and the size is only printed once for the process zero same program is executed by multiple processes utilizing multiple cores of a processor because it is in multi-core configuration okay all right so that was a very basic program printing only the size and rank of the process in the next video we will learn about scatter and gather and implement the same in mpi if you have any doubts post them in the comment section until then see you in the next video